Today, we'll be looking at the Beta FPV Cetus X and my thoughts owning it as a beginner. In the Beta FPV Cetus series, you are going to have the Cetus, the Cetus Pro, and the Cetus X. The Cetus X is the big brother in the Cetus series and literally the biggest one and also the most powerful one. It is a 2S Wu that feeds on two BT 2.0 1S 400 milliampere batteries. It is basically using two 1S battery. You're gonna have to put them in like this, line them up, and plug them in with the two cables and it's going to make it as a 2s it also comes with four 11,000 mini uh 11,000 kv brushless motors which makes it really really powerful in this class the flight time it's on an average three minutes with the two batteries the weight includes the battery is almost close to nothing so no worries uh regarding a registering the drone at all you also have the ability to adjust your camera tilt from 0 degrees to 40 degrees. Unlike the Cetus and Cedar Pro, the only that only comes with FR Skies, you will have the option to get it with the EORS or the old school FR Sky built in to the chip directly. So you're not going to have an additional receiver that is going to just going to be in the chip. Let me remove the battery so you can see it. So, the EORS is currently uh, integrated into this chip. You will also have the option to purchase this entire kit with the goggles, radios, or just the drone itself. Okay, let's head outside and see how it flies. As I only got the drone itself, the remote I'm using is my TX12 ELRS and my DJI goggles with the analog module. The video is recorded in the DJI goggles directly to my SD card. The drone is also flying at a 40 degree camera tilt. You can see that Beta FPV did a very good job in the tuning as it flies really, really smooth. And it's also so quiet that I can barely hear the prop spinning. I will say this is definitely a good trainer drone for you if you live in a suburban area just like me and you don't want it to bother people, then this is the right drone for you. Although it's a 2S, sometimes it does feel like it's a bit powerless if you are doing acro. It is going to be a little bit harder to recover from accurate maneuver compared to a regular freestyle drone, but I wouldn't say freestyle is meant for this drone, so it is what it is. Okay, so let's head back to the bench and talk about the pros and cons. Okay, let's talk about the pro first. I would say this drone is fairly durable. Although the material and the backbone of this drone is mainly plastic, but it is still fairly strong. As you can see, there's already a lot of scratches, dents, and scuff marks already on my quad. I can just tell you I have crashed this drone so many times at full speed and it is just doing one piece. I would say as a beginner, a durable drone body is essential to keep us in the air as long as possible. But if you accidentally crack the frame or damage a motor, I would say it's still very easy to repair it. As you can see, everything here is generally on a screw or on a plug. You do not have to know how to solder in order to fix it. If you damage a frame, just get a new frame from Amazon for 10 bucks and loosen all the screws and unplug the motors, migrate everything over and screw everything back and you are just fine. And if you damage the motors, same thing, uh, unscrew the screws, take out the motors, unplug it, put the new motor in, screw it back, and plug it back, and that's it. Lastly, this is something you can fly anytime and anywhere. As a beginner, to master your flying skills, you need real stick time, as simulators are often only able to carry you so far. So in my opinion, if you, li if you live in a suburban or city area just like me, it is better to have something small, safe, easy that you can just pick up and fly without having to travel 10 20 minutes away to a field or a park because you have a full size a five inch pv quad the added prop guards and the very light noise level make it perfect to practice around my house i can fly this at 7 a.m without disturbing my neighbors so it just right away became my go-to practice drone 
All right, let's talk about the cons. My first gripe for this drone is that it lacks beginner features. Compared to the Cetus and Cetus Pro, this drone has basically no beginner assistant module like the optical flow or whatsoever. If you're looking for something like that, then this drone maybe is not for you just yet. And secondly, I would say this is not really an indoor flyer. Although it is rated on beta FPV as indoor outdoor flyer, it is still a bit too fast and too big to be flown indoors, even with the camera tilted to zero degrees in acro mode. If your goal is to fly acro mode indoors, I would suggest you to go with the smaller 1S Whoop with half of the power. But if you're flying angle mode, which you get auto level control that which means that your drone is going to be out of level, not going to tilt over, it's going to be like this, then flying indoors is still somewhat doable. Just to be careful when you are close to a wall and due to the prop guards, you are going to get sucked to it. Just let me show you like that. Okay, so this wraps us up this short video today. I hope you found something useful. If you like my content, please help me subscribe, like, and leave a comment. I will see you next time. Bye for now.